Okay, well here we have Morris Minor Thousand. It's about a 68, 69, I believe. As you can see, there's a few bits of aging. If we're gonna be polite, it's aging on the vehicle. A few minor little holes and rust on the doors. As you may well know, the vehicle is MOT and tax exempt, but obviously for safety reasons, we'll give it a good going over. Check to make sure there's no real structural problems with the vehicle. We've had a cursory look and there was quite a few little holes all around underneath the wheel arches. But we have actually started to replate. And of course, when you start grinding, you find even more. As you can see up here, there's a massive great big hole right where the suspension bunt stop would have been. So we've actually replated and remade that panel. Same on this wheel arch. There is quite a few little patches. But a vehicle of this age, you are going to get rust. Classic car's favourite friend. You can see the rear doors are both pretty bad, but we've actually sourced a couple of second hand doors which aren't too bad. So we'll commence carrying on with work with underneath on a few patches that we've found. And we'll upload videos as we go on each stage. Right, the start of work on the Morris Minor. I 
And as we come around into the front wheel arch, you can see a lovely big hole there, really badly corroded. So that'll have to have a plate completely round through there. And as we go up, another few holes there and this is on the driver's side and there's another small little one just up the top there but the rest is not too bad it's pretty solid so we'll get those all plated up. We've actually started plating the near side which we started earlier. I'll just go around the front. This one was a little bit worse than the driver's side. As you can see there, we've had to plate right the way through there, up there on the inner flitch, up around the top there. And then down on the bulkhead side, all the way down through. And down around the bottom, which is a slightly smaller hole than the other side. But when you start grinding, things start to fall out. And then the next stage will be if I can get a picture of it, the underside of the seals, which you can see are quite bad. So we'll cut those all out and get some new plates put in there. Right, okay, we've got the moggy up in the air and yeah, as you can see, we've got a slight bit of uh, corrosion and a few holes. Right across the jacking point and the centre cross member. But the rest, the cross member, is nice and solid. And you're a little bit on the lip, this side here. And we have holes in the floor on this side as well. And we've already started plating up. the outer side of it, so we've got a nice solid edge there. So what we'll do is literally we've made a plate that will sit across and on, so that'll be welded in place. And she's had a, a few bits of work previously, but nothing too major. And we have some more rust up here 
on the rear valance and another one here and a little bit on this rear chassis leg around here so we'll make up new plates and put those in and another little one just up here and just inside the wheel arch there but I've seen a lot worse on newer cars the actual chassis legs although they're a little bit rusty and grummy are quite solid which is a normal place they rust out <laughs> 